Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now, if you're fascinated about how animals adapt to their environment through evolutionary biology, then you are in the right place. Today, we're gonna look into one of the most iconic cases of natural selection, the evolution of Pevin moth during the English Industrial Revolution period. Now, back in the early 1800s, Pevin moth in England, more professionally known as Bist and Bachelorias, mainly displayed light-colored wings speckled with small dark spots perfect for blending in with lichen covered trees where they mostly inhabited. But during the Industrial Revolution period, around maybe the mid-19th century, soot from coal-burning factories began to coat these trees, dramatically darkening their barks. Now, in this new, darker environment, the previously rare dark-colored variant of the Pepper Moth, also known as the Carbonarium Morph, gained a survival advantage. Now, you'll see what I mean when you compare the two images here. On the left is a photo of the Pepper Moth species on lichen-covered trees prior to the coal production of the Industrial Revolution, and on the right is a picture of the same two variants of the Pepper Moth on lichen-covered trees covered with soot during the Industrial Revolution. And as you can see, the typical version, or the light-colored moth, they tend to stand out significantly more in the post-industrial revolution period while the darker variants tend to blend in a little bit more. Now these darker moth, which initially made up less than 2% of the entire pepper moth population, can now camouflage effectively against the sooty bark which allowed them to escape the notice of their main predators birds. Now, this is natural selection in real time. By the late 19th century, in some areas, these dark moths constituted more than 90% of the entire pepper moth population. In Manchester, for instance, by 1895, they reported 98% of all specimens of the pepper moth species to be melanic, or i.e. Um, darker moth, while the surgeon numbers were less pronounced for rural areas. Fast forward to 20th century, as air pollution controls were implemented a little bit more, and habitats essentially began to recover, the trees lightened again, and correspondingly, the advantage swung back to the light-colored morphs. And by the end of the 20th century, the frequency of the dark-colored moth had significantly decreased, which essentially illustrates a reverse shift in the natural selection trends. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned a little bit more about natural selection and its applications.